Welcome back, everyone. I had a moment of absolute panic there because Dota kept crashing, but it all got fixed. Um, and yeah, here we are again. Second game. Evil Genius is now on Dire against the Wild Watch Doctors. Uh, Next Assassin coming straight out from Evil Geniuses as a ban. Thoughts on that? Davidy? Um, not surprised. Um, Nick's Assassin is definitely, you know, among the tier one heroes. Uh, they, uh, they played, played him well, well, and now, now they, they ban the Doom this time. Dyer's pin. Um, they want to go for relatively mobile heroes, not surprised. There's well, there you go. There's ES, yeah. And, uh, Wild Witch Doctor's banning out the Lunar as well. Although, I mean, I think the problem with her in the last match wasn't particularly that she was OP. It was that she just had so much free farm at the beginning of the game. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm not sure I understood the Rubik solo offlane. That did not seem to work. Um, Ancient Apparition and Marana both getting picked up again. Um, both very good heroes. Both very good at helping out in ganks. Ancient Apparition has a nice global presence as well, so I'm not surprised at all. Are we going to see Team Spirit here from Evil Geniuses though? They just need Earth Spirit, Vengeful, and uh, the Spirit Breaker. Earth Spirit's not in captains. Not yet. Not oh. yet. Dang it. Uh, you may want to turn up the volume a little bit. People are saying it's a little quiet. Roger Wilco. Roger Wilco. I'm, I'm going to move my, my voice a little bit closer to the mic. If you wouldn't mind just uh, keeping everybody entertained for a brief moment. No problem. So we see the Luna Band come out from WWD. Uh, not surprising considering the struggles they had with it. Genius just takes out the clockwork. Uh, perhaps predicting a, a life shielder pick, or just don't like that in the off lane. Stand in. Uh, they have a different stand in here for, uh, or a new a stand in here for the WWD team seven. Who stands in with them uh, every now and then? I think they have a good relationship with them. Uh, life stealer ban out for WWD. I guess uh, after the Luna is gone. Hmm. I don't, I don't, it's been a while since I've seen the two spirits on the same team, and I'm, I'm certainly guessing we're going to see Ember Spirit in the safe lane and Storm middle. But who knows? It could be something interesting. Maybe an Ember Spirit solo off lane, which I have seen run a few times. Mm. Bane Band comes out for EG. I mean, I'm, I'm expecting that will be Storm Spirit mid and then Ember Spirit on one of the side lanes. I'm even wondering whether they might run him safe lane carry after, you know, Sleight of Fist plus Battle Fury plus Daedalus plus Daedalus equals an entire team of dead people. I mean, even more than Kunkka with Tidebringer, it's, it's a one-hit. He's a very flexible hero. He's not a bad safe lane carry at all. Yeah, all about the one-hit rampage. As an offlane. Yeah, 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 I can see that as well. Uh, definitely. Shadow Demon there. Uh, I mean, another potential setup for the Murano Arrow, but a much trickier one than the, yeah. than the potential kind of Bane Fiend script. Interesting uh, combo with Ancient Apparition too. The disruption and, and cold feet. That's a tricky one to manage correctly. Mm. Disruption, I have to say, I mean, this is, you know, the first game I've ever seen at this level live, so I'm very excited. But also, in the games I do play, disruption is maybe effective, maybe 20, uh, maybe 60, 70% of the time. And the rest of the time, at best, and the rest of the time it's actually harmful in one way or another. It's, that's too much the case for the pros. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hoping. Now I'm being told it's too loud. Yeah, your mic's a little loud is what I'm hearing. Here's the thing. I, I'm not entirely sure what's... I will turn it down now. That's easy enough. I'm not sure what's going on with that for anyone listening, just because I haven't been changing the settings before we started getting all these reports. I hope that's a little bit better, though. Um, yeah, just keep the feedback coming, and we'll get it right. Um, we have just had a Steam update though, and it, it certainly caused some problems for some people. I I, was, I had a massive panic trying to get in here. Um, before I got a technical picked fix. up for WWD along with Crystal Maiden for EG. Excellent picks. Yeah, everyone's saying it sounds well. good. Okay, perfect. One, one back. Crystal Maiden, uh, nice for both the spirits who who are relatively mana intensive, especially Storm. Um, yeah. A lot of a lot of control coming out for WWD. They have a, a lot of ways to lock people down. You know, Puck with with the, the Dream Coil, Disruption, Cold Feet, Arrows. None that are sort of classic, easy stuns, though. A lot of... But in combination with each other, it could help mm. a lot. Mm. I can see... I mean, I, I'll say the same I like thing I said about... Sort of, sorry? No, I like how they're, they're stacking um, their difficult control 
uh, because even though none is reliable, if they're used in combination with each other, it's very easy for them all to proc in their various different ways. So I think mm -hmm. that's it's interesting, but I think could be very useful team build for WWD, as we see the darks here picked up from EG. Mm. I mean, the, the darks here pickup kind of confirms the thing I was going to say about the last match as well. I feel like Wild Wild, Five, yeah, Wild. Seven. I keep wanting to say Wild Wild West. Wild Witch Doctors are playing much more interesting, potentially difficult to use teams. Um, we're seeing less reliable stuns. Um, yeah, we're I'd seeing agree with that, definitely more use of kind of potentially supporty characters taking on a slightly more important role. Um, yep. Whereas Evil Geniuses, I think Ember Spirit and Storm Spirit are both quite tricky heroes. Darkseer is maybe a bit particular in the skill set, but the actual team composition, it, it's fairly clear yeah. what yeah. they're going for and, and how they'll lane it and what the team fights will be like as well. I do admire the ambition of the plans that WWD is uh, putting together, <laughs> and I think their plans that definitely could work very, very well. But they're Absolutely. tricky plans to execute well, and they're, they're really... Um, relying on solid play uh, or else they could be in a lot of trouble here because none of these things are going to be sort of guaranteed make it happen in lane or guaranteed make it happen in team fights they're going to require them to execute um, and I mean they're a good team I've seen a reason why they wouldn't be able to execute but they're uh, they're going for it and, and they're planning here so I admire the ambition but we'll see how well it works out indeed as indeed, we see Lone so Druid and Rubik band out Lone Druid for EG and Rubik for WWD I think that makes sense. Those are two very good bands. I mean, the Rubik we've we've seen already in this game, even though he was on the losing side last time, can just pick and choose. That's what it's all about. And at this level of play, very good at picking and choosing. If uh, someone doesn't cast another spell after their ultimate to to make sure he'll steal something else, um, I would have There's loved only, uh... to see an, uh, a Rubik do the Ember Spirit sprint, though. Nice. I think that would have been amazing. But it have to be another game. Now, WWD has no strength heroes on their team. Evil Geniuses does have, have Dark Seer, but uh, a pretty squishy team, if, as you see coming out from, from WWD. Uh, Dark Seer is an intelligence hero. There are no strength heroes in the game. <laughs> oh, at this right, stage. of course. Yeah, sorry, you're right, yes. There's no, as this is meta, meta will just message you about this. There's no strength <laughs> heroes in the game so far. And I like that. Um, I think it might work against. Uh, uh, <laughs> Second. I'm always slightly skeptical of the teams, which don't have any hint of a tank, um, and I don't really see much hint of a tank Reserve here. Um, but it I certainly mean, makes for a fun game. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to have a quote-unquote quote tank. tank. I, that's, that's, that's somewhat of a, a, a juvenile way to approach, approach it. it. But with that said, no strength. Me heroes. want tank. Um, Me want tank. Darkseer definitely can can take some damage and and sort of be someone that, that soaks up his initial onslaughts. And the disruptor there is the final pick. But yeah, Excellent. Well, a a bit of lag here again, as, as before. And a lot of escape and mobility for EG. Absolutely. I, I, I don't want uh, your wonderful comments to be, to be missed in the lag. I often get that as people pick heroes here. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of the, this is the laggy part. It's a hook. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and uh, give our comments in a second. It's bursting. It's the what? It's the who? It's the where? It's the which? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. But yeah, I was just saying it's very interesting. We have a. a, a it's going to be a very interesting game because you basically have a team with a lot of escape and mobility with Dark Seer, Bow Spirits, and then Disruptor's mm -hmm. Glimpse coming out for EG. And then the team with a lot of skill shot and combo stuns coming out from WWD. So if they're able to make those skill shot and combo stuns work, uh, this mobility is very much going to be neutralized. Mm -hmm. But if they're not, then. Uh, EG could could run circles around them with their mobility because they Indeed. don't have really they disruption I guess you would say is disruption and miscoil are the only reliable stuns and neither of those are sort of traditional Nukem and they stand still style stuns so it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out Indeed, although I mean I, I do think the dream coil will be absolutely amazing against the spirits if they can get that off right that's exactly yes, what you need yes, nice yes. long stun and silence um, well, could stun you imagine, handle you know, silence dream coil well, you know, arrow into Dream Coil into 
uh, Ancient Apparition Cold Feet into Ancient Apparition Ult. That just just the Dream Coil and Ancient Apparition Ult by themselves are great. And then with the Faceless Void, be able to finish that up. Yeah. If they can get these combos working in the mid game team fights, they can do a lot of damage. They have those mid game team fight stuns, but not the traditional laning stuns that you would sort of expect to see. No. Have you had a look at the lanes? So we've got Faceless Void here heading off lane. Um, Puck heading mid. That's no Probably big surprise. Probably dual lanes. Dual lanes with uh, the Which... now hasted Ush on Ancient Apparition. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and introduce the team so we have a second. We're all gone. All right, so we have uh, on for for starting game with WWD now on the Radiant. We have IX Mike uh, again, formerly of Liquid, on the Faceless Void as the hard carry. Uh, he's gonna probably going to be landing with the Ancient Apparition as Ush who goes for a quick harass here and Storm Spirit in the mid lane, but just pushes back on the tower. We have Snaw mid on the puck, and then on the bottom lane we have uh, Marana as a s safe lane carry supposedly. Um, and then uh, uh, the seven, the stand-in disruptor, landing down there with him. Uh, for EG, we have uh, Universe solo off lane uh, with the Dark Seer mm -hmm. on the off lane. Uh, no surprise we have there, then. Storm Spirit mid, the stand-in Mason still playing mid uh, for RTZ. Uh, we have PPD uh, on the Crystal Maiden just jungling away a little bit here in the Radiant Jungle, and then we have uh, Fear, aka Old Man, aka Cripletto. Uh, not quite sure what's going on there on the Ember Spirit, <laughs> uh, laning with Zai on the Disruptor. And these are going to be some very interesting lanes. I can see that I can see Void off lane. Sure, he's he's got a uh, time warp to just get out of any trouble that he happens to get into. But it's it's bold, yeah. I think. I mean, I mean, he's a very squishy carry. He he needs a Absolutely. lot of he protection. Went he went for time lock level level one, not time lock which you traditionally expect, or even mm. backtrack, which I guess you would see if you're worried about taking a lot of harass. So oh, stopping the clarity on the disruptor here, but he's going to get a lot of harass. Now, can time walk out? Can, but that's he's he's too cool for that. And Dyer are actually going to take the benefit of this radiant side pull. Well, I think we saw the exact same thing at the start of the game uh, last time, but mm. with the the teams reversed, of course. Mm. The um, I remember WWE were doing a very very good job of um, pulling off the. Uh, this large creep camp into their own creep wave, um, so as to prevent the, the radiant from doing it. Um, yet to see that in this game, but very, very hopeful, very, very well. Darkseer right, being so, uh, being Darkseer, being Darkseer. Being there's a magic bush, um, so that will shut down a lot of the chain pulling, which would really hinder him. I think. I mean, absolutely. Great well, push, Darkseer, great harass. Depending on how he's laning, doesn't really mind if you chain pull because that just lets him push even more. Mm. So, um, True. not as strong, but still, of course, doesn't doesn't want them to chain pull, but can handle it relatively well. Just still ion shelling away. Mm. A little bit more of a quiet early game. Everybody sort of farming out. Although Faceless Void is very low in this top lane, although he just goes and pops himself. I guess all we have a second. Um, Lua's got some 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 chat trivia ready for uh, for us. You ready? Oh for the yes. Question? Oh yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So I don't know the answer this time. So we're going to screen it. All right. So uh, chat trivia. Uh, in the JDL this year, or well, the in the inaugural season of the Join Dota League, uh, how many times has Faceless Void been played? And bonus question: uh, What is his win rate? I guess okay. we'll say, let's see if we can guess it within 5% his win rate. Okay, so we're talking how many games has he been played in in a tournament that has something like 2,500 competitive teams competing once a week. Right. I, I don't even so I know... We have a pretty good example <laughs> of the Dota community, a lot of pro teams and a lot of lower teams. Alright, so so we'll stick with the... Uh, let's stick with the percent, because the amount, I've got absolutely no idea. Sounds good. Um, oh, uh, gank up here in the top lane. Do we have glimpse? No, we Amber don't. Spirit but throws down the shackles should be able to take out the ancient apparition. Although disruptor is very, very low. Easy kill Faces there. Does pick him up, but it's glimpse back. Gets glimpse Although back. I don't think that glimpse time was actually initiate. helpful. Oh, and was able to get out. No, really, just made it easier for him to escape. Yeah, he he got away on very, very After little he blew health here. His time walk. Would just have been a couple more right clicks. Glimpse, he would have definitely been dead. Yeah, very true. But I mean, one kill each way there. Um, Ember Spirit, though, greatly benefit, benefit, yeah, bleh, benefiting from that farm. Um, but, yeah, I think it's the first Blood Gold that's really going to help him out right now. Got 750 gold. Really lead in last hits. 23 and 5 here in this middle lane. Longer Marana range than the Storm than Spirit, not too surprised. She's 17 and 4. Ember Spirit definitely out last hitting the uh, Faceless Void. He's 16 and 9 to Faceless Void's 9 and 1. 
Darks here are actually right, very, very close behind this uh, Marana. Oh, the percentage of, of games where Faithless Void has been picked, given that it is crossing both team level, be that the lowest of the team level or the highest of the team level. Um, right. Alrighty, Roo. What would that be? I want to say... I'm going to guess... Is it, sorry, are we picked, picked or banned? 2,500 games? Picked or banned? No, this is, this is picked. This is played. I don't think it will be that high. You said it's what? Maybe, maybe you around. You said there's been 2,500 games. Fifteen percent. So? Is that what you said? There's 2,500 teams, and they teams. Okay, and right. they each play a game each week. I would so guess that's. Faces that Void has been played. I'll say maybe something like one percent of games he's been played. Yeah. In. I was gonna say fifteen's way too high. I'll, I'll go for ten to keep it interesting. Ember Spirit barely escapes up here in the top lane, so Faces Void actually harassing relatively well in this lane. Um, and as for win rate, Ember Spirit in trouble here. Darkseer farming up a good stack camp He'll here be in the fine. jungle. Ember Spirit's been low for a while now. Storm Spirit now being very, very aggressive on the mid lane, but doesn't really have the help to back that up. Should be able to take this ancient apparition. Oh, good wand to escape. Is he gonna be able to walk out? Oh, faces void. Excellent juke here. He knows. Him. He knows which way to go. Has time walk. Oh, excellent time walk away there. Ancient apparition though <laughs> could not escape the disruptor. No, that's that's so, yeah, fair. I'm enough, gonna guess his win rate. I'm gonna guess it's actually not that bad. I, I, I'm gonna give him a, I'll say, a 48% win rate on the face of void. I'm gonna be less generous. I'm gonna say 40. 40? Oh wow, not a lot of not a lot of love for faceless. <laughs> not a lot of love for faceless void. I'm I'm also trying to keep this. It, I, I don't want to just copy yours. So. This way, oh, one of us right, will win, right, and good. one of us will be the loser. Of course, now it's going to be like 57 percent or something. <laughs> so that's what we know about Faceless Void. Um, right. So while we wait on the answer for that, let's take a quick look at the items here. Um, Faceless Void um, got his shield up as per normal, gloves of haste, got boots, and 250 gold in the bank. So not a huge amount of farm for six minutes in, but certainly respectable. Um, in fact, do you think this is going to be Midas or Power Treads on the Faceless Void? What do you think? Well, he has enough gold for power trades now. We just need to make it to the side shop. Um, oh, that's a, call now. that's a tricky question. I want to say... I'm going to say Midas. Again, want to keep it interesting. Ron, oh, oh and getting the Ember Spirit kill. Take out the Ember Spirit. Oh, Beautiful Ron, job. But dies to creep aggro. Dies to creep aggro, but does manage to secure the uh, Marana kill for his team. Now. Unfortunate death. Do you think Damn creeps. It? Caddy the catapult. Um, Ember Spirit and there was, there was some melee creeps chilling there too. Oh, it wasn't. I know it was disruptive. What am I talking about? I I think that was worth it. I mean, it's gank middle. Dorn Spirit's way out of position. Way way out of and position. And is able to fall. Excellent, excellent job there from the radiant. Um, a lot of action going on here at the same time. In the jungle this whole time. I think the and the, there's a power tread picked up. Power treads. There we go. Away. Um, I think what's going on a lot in this game, and it, I, I really like seeing it, is we're seeing, um, you know, as soon as something starts going down somewhere else, it's a question of either you TP in there, or you start putting, making plays on another lane. Marana here gets silenced and DOT, but Disruptor going down to an excellent TP in from the Faceless Void. So, yeah, I... I I'm not sure what their plan was. They weren't going to be able to rush her. I know they silenced her with the Disruptor ult to try to prevent her from leaping away, but they just didn't have... She was, the Glimpse was only going to take her right back under the tower. I think they thought that the Glimpse would take her closer to here, but she only was around there, so... Mm. Not mm. really enough to take down the Marana. So WWD is having a much better start this game. Absolutely. Um, despite, you know, I would say a relatively greedy lineup with the, the Faceless Void, although they do have a lot of um, good mid-game heroes, but not a lot of lane dominators. Marana, not someone you think of as someone that's going to dominate the lane, but on their own ground against the EG, a much better start from them. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very impressed. I think the, the Faceless Void, though, does need to start getting uh, a little bit more gold. I mean, he's been doing a great job. He's been getting killed. He's 2-1-1, he's one one, but... Yeah, you you do need a lot of farm on that guy, um, and I'm wondering whether we're going to see yeah, him going the the AOE faceless, um, you know, go for a, a battle fury and maybe a Mjolnir, or whether we're just going to go see him yeah. see him go straight single target faceless. So you do the chrono, and you get crits, and you just pick the enemies off one at a time, and you don't worry about trying to splash on them. Um, the yeah, and lots of interesting items that could be picked up here. I want to know if the Marana is going to be built um, same as she was last game.
So she's got the Aquila, which I really like. She's got a mm -hmm. Blades of Attack and a Ring of Health. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to become a Perseverance. Um, that would be my guess. Just a casual Perseverance, or what are we building into with that? I'm, I'm sorry, not Perseverance, a Lincoln Sphere. Lincoln Sphere, I'm sorry. All right, gotcha. I was yeah. one step behind. Lincoln Sphere... Which I actually do really like Amarana. I can see that working. I think the only problem she'd have with that is, I mean, it, it wouldn't stop... I, I think Disruptor really is the main crowd control for uh, for Dyer, and mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't I stop an AoE I mean, silence. No, but it would stop Glimpse, it would stop the Storm Spirit pull, it would stop Frostbite, it would stop... Just, no, I assume it stops the Searing Chains from... Yep, I assume it would. Well, it would stop a whole bunch of stuff, I just... I think, um, yeah, if EG, if EG can uh, go for proper team fights with their disruptor doing what he's supposed to be doing anyway, then I'm not sure Lincoln's is going to be the most useful pickup that there could be. Uh, Gank here on the great arrow on dark on the darks here. So it's going to be a question of boy hasn't trapped. Interesting job there from the uh, good play from. Uh, not entirely Peter sure what darks was going for. With his last few movements, yeah. there. I mean, he, he was dead anyway, so maybe I'm just being silly. Um, here we go, though, with a big initiation middle. Puck going straight down as Radiant try and push. Storm Spirit cutting straight across the uh, field about there, doing a ton of damage on top of the disruptor ult. Um, so, good game. Yeah, good. Well played by them. And now just Universe last. still on top of the last hit charts with uh, 62, but. Now, well, Marana's now tied him. Um, net worth wise, though, WWD is doing very well. Um, WWD on the Marana has top, followed by Snarl on the Puck. Fear is third. Uh, about a thousand gold uh, behind, almost exactly a thousand gold behind the Marana on the Ember Spirit. But very good start from WWD considering the draft. Um, although uh, I think in the, the mid game, they're going to struggle to control both the Spirits and the Dark Seer. Um, that's a very powerful combo. Morano comes in. Universe does not know that they're here. Throw the, the surge, arrow. but right oh, the surges. bad time for the surge because the the cooldown on uh, sorry the duration on surge is just so short um, that if you get stunned sure during it, it's basically here. useless. Yep. Interesting point though, um, Darks here might be doing, oh, Chrono excellent Chrono here, on Ember Spirit. in addition to the AA ult, I was wondering if that was a combo they were wanting. Um, unfortunately for Glimpse is going to catch it up, but there's Shadow Demon with Poison, enough to finish it off. I was wondering if they were hoping for AA, AA ult Chrono combos, um, you know, just to get that extra damage in during the very brief window you have to just punch the enemy team so in the face. So we got the answer from Lua here, to the trivia. Uh, oh yeah? He has been played. Seven times in the JDL. Seven times. And he seven. has a 43% win rate. Seven. Seven. Seven times. So, 1,250 matches a week. This is something like week six. So that's, quick math there, 7,500 matches of which he's been played four times, and this is one of them. Is that what you're telling me, David? He's been played seven times. Good lord. All right, uh, well... Well, uh, WWD making it work. Um, Got to say though, my forty yeah, percent closer, well. closer to the win rate than uh, than yours. So as I said, okay, we need I'll a loser, and I'll that's give you. you. A win on that one. That's that's you. All right. Um, but yeah, no, a, a very very strange pick up there. Not not a heavy carry. I rate too much. Marana stumps back here by the disruptor, but she leaves out of the connect field easily. Such a jammy hero, really, the Marana. Another, uh, another great note from Lua. Um, I, you know, we've been talking about the fights, but um, while all this has been happening, even though they're down in net worth, uh, EG has been farming their jungle exceptionally well. They've farmed three different triple stack camps so far. Excellent play by As them, the, then. the uh, Radiant yeah, uh, Sentry Ward lets the creeps kill another dire observer over here on the top lane. We've seen a lot of creep uh, ward Oof. kills this, uh, this series. These are... Are these wards in view of each other? They're not. That must be the closest ward ever. Oh my god. One of them just went down. Wow. But that, that was like almost... The other one's about to fall, so it all works out. But <laughs> yeah, but they've just... Gracious. Oh, and here we go. Marana ult now with Radiant up in the dire jungle. Not entirely sure what the play is, though. Are they just going for the top tier one? I think they might might be. They may, they may dive this disruptor. I think that's Yes, here we go. Yep, there you go. Chrono there, beautifully placed to us to reduce the tower aggro as well. Puck needs to get in there a little bit quicker, I think. I think that AA ult... Not even needed. 
you, you, you want me to be picky here? I think the AO could have come in a little bit quicker there, which would have helped meant the Faces Void got killed. But, wow. Wow, am I being picky. I do love the Faces Void AO combo. A lot AA of burst combo. damage coming out now. Now he picks up the Point Booster and the Ogre Club. I think they were going to see an Aghanim Scepter uh, right after Power Treads on this Faces Void. Well, I mean, it, it reduces a, the earlier you get it, the better it is in terms of the cooldown because it's got a it, it reduces true. the cooldown to a flat early... sixty. Um, doesn't matter what level the ult actually is. Um, lots. Hey, ult gonna land on Ember Spirit. Puck jumps in oh, with the silence. Dear. The Mystic Coil. Yeah, but unfortunately, just now as Marana TP's to out, him? that was just as Marana TP'd out. She TP'd out as Puck TP'd in. Um, I think they expected him to die to the AAL, but it wasn't quite enough damage. Now they're going to take this bottom tower. Wait, no, was that a... You know what? I don't think she did TP out. I think she got glimpsed back up to top lane or, or uh, something like that. Very, very well played the there from the dive. That is the most annoying thing that can happen to you in a game. <laughs> Especially if you have a good disruptor and he does it to you like seven or eight times in one game. And, and you're like, like, God well, damn it! God damn it. <laughs> Why do I even bother with these TPs? Um... I had a great all mid conquer game they're recently they're though. Take the tower here. They did fortify to try to save it. Crystal Mage goes to the deny, Ooh. but misses. Misses the deny. Oh, yeah, we'll take it down. I think the most annoying thing you can get on a TP in. I had an all mid conquer game, so whenever anybody tried to TP in, it was just throw down all the torrents, and um, yeah. Boof, 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 boof. It doesn't. That doesn't quite have the same sort of. I mean, there's like you know, there's pudge hooks and rotten arrows, but it's it's not quite the same as a uh, a glimpse back. As you TP in. This is a certain deep defeat that's involved in that. Deep, deep defeat. I think possibly the most frustrating thing about it is it doesn't have a very flashy animation. It's not like, oh wow, look what I just did to you. It's very casual. It's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> nice try. Doesn't matter how heavy a carrier you are, you're now back at your fountain. A lot of ping coming out in this middle tower for radium, but I'm not totally sure why. Ah, uh, there's your why. They were grouping up for the dust. Uh -huh. Wonderful so, uh, courier there for the. Uh, been played. That's the uh, the jade. Oh yeah. The Who's... jade. I, I want to call it the jade hoof. The jade red hoof. The juice. I don't know. Um, but Ember Spirit now looking like he might just get eaten alive. Oh no! Although, radiant all heading know. up to mid. Oh wait! Oh wait! Shadow Demon's gotten spotted out, got disruption now. He glimpsed one person back. There's the AA ult, beautifully played. Just not enough damage. Tries to orb out, nope. And Storm of Spirit can just cut in there from the side. Beautiful play there by EG. I love that Storm of Spirit coming through. I think um maybe uh the Disruptor was going to rely on his illusion there to do the... uh Sorry, they were going to rely on... The Shadow Demon was going to rely on the uh illusions from Disruption to kill the Disruptor. Eesh, why do you always get Shadow Demon and Disruptor in the same game? That's what I want. I don't know, but I have the that, that oh. I always check with that deal. Although Disruptor did fall to the AO. Was that to the Oh of course uh, the Yeah. Delayed damage. Um Right. So really though, I suppose, forget what I was just about to say, but I my middle tower here. Well, I really hope they do. More yes, they do. Factor. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> considering the, last considering the top tier one last game, yeah. I was watching that like a hawk. More just go on. factoids here from Lua, by the way. Uh, Faithless Voice didn't play 211 times uh, in all of Pro Dota 2, and this is only the sixth time that Ag Scepter has been bought on him. I suppose. Although, when we're, when we're, you want to talk interesting item picks, by the way? Check out uh, Ancient Apparition and tell me if you see anything that. Uh, Hand of Midas. Hand of Midas. This is the 12th Hand of Midas on Ancient Apparition ever. Hand of Midas all the way across the sky. What can it mean? Faceless Chrono in. Should be able to take out Disruptor. He's got Time Walk in 6, 5. Arrow comes in. CM ult. Crystal Maiden ult. Oh, and there's and the, uh, there's the Storm of Spirit to, fish, to finish him he off. No! Oh, but there we go. Him. Beautiful play by Storm. Beautiful play by Storm. They wanted that. It's like, right, you took out our Disruptor, Absolutely. we're gonna get you for that. Um, Ember Spirit's pushing this top tier one, though. Should fall. I don't see anyone that can rotate in, really. Can I just say, it's gonna be... With this each creep. It's gonna be AA with Boots of Speed, Hand of Midas, I reckon Ags. And, um... Oh, absolutely. A couple of ward items. They... I'm beginning to see WMD's thing come together. So I think it might all be based... Yeah, this... The, the, the team fight element of it. Around the the chrono followed by mm -hmm. by ancient apparition ult and 
what a wonderful way to land the ancient apparition ult. I was saying earlier, you know, the problem well, with it is like it's like I was talking about tricky. earlier in the game. The now that now, I, we start to see it coming there, this actually makes the ags on faces make more sense. You know, we talked earlier about how much they had these sort of no true but good in combination team fight stuns, and they really are going to try to strengthen that. Pick up the ags after on faces void and ancient apparition. Try to use their big team fight combo control to let them dominate this mid game long mm. enough for faces void to get farm and. It's working, I would say. It is working. What is Faceless? Uh, so he's got his Ags. I'm not sure. If, um, Shadow Demon gets picked off there. I think fairly stereotypical Storm Spirit. Doing what Storm Spirit Doing does. Thing. Yeah. I preferred him when he was a panda, but still love him. Still <laughs> cool. You don't like the slim down Storm Spirit? Trying to be a good role model for the kids? Um, what are you saying about pandas? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I, I guess that was. Pot's gonna walk right into Ember Spirit. Silence is up. Clash in the jungle. Boy comes in and silence by the disruptor ult. Pulled Beautiful. Back in, so he can't ult. He's gonna get. Oh, he does. Oh. Ult. Is he gonna just TP out? Chrono TP. That that'll get him out. I think. But that was an amazing vacuum there. Um, I mean, I honestly thought Ember Spirit it was running great vacuum over his head. Right back into the disruptor ult. Yeah, and the disruptor. I got to say as well, his um his silence field being thrown down straight onto the puck. While the puck was stuck in the in the middle of a corridor of trees, Murano yeah, landing a beautiful Spirit arrow. With an AA ult. There's the AA ult and the kill. Uh, Murano not caught in the static field. She must have got out of that by the but skin of her teeth. By Storm Spirit. Unfortunately, Storm Spirit's gonna fall. So much burst damage under that uh, AA passive. Here's uh, on Dark Seer. Yep, and here's Faceless Void coming back again. Doesn't even need to use Time Walk for that. And now they want to push uh, Bot Tower. And I think I agree. If if that gets much more Creeper Ass, then uh, that will be deniable. And they've got a perfect opportunity now to go for it. Or, who who do they have? Disruptor and CM. Okay, I was going to say they could go for, for Rosh, but <laughs> actually Disruptor CM? That that could be problematic <laughs> in, in tight enclosed spaces like the Rosh bit. I don't know they're going to have time to take this tier 1. They're going to have to push a lot harder than they are, and Faceless Void isn't interested. Well, Marana is now auto-attacking creeps, so... They're looking for it. <laughs> Ember Spirit now, on the Shadow Demon. Can be a very quick death. Yep. I think Shadow Demon wanted to go up there do a bit of scouting, but... Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not what you want to run into in a dark alleyway when you're scouting for your team. No, you're not. No, no, no. Marana but... well atop this net worth chart. Chronosphere, 10, about, Chronosphere already about, up. About there it is. So Face is going to start getting some uh, some hits in here. Marana arrow lands. That That's, dragon interceptor is really changing the nature of these team fights. He yeah. has Chrono every time he needs it now. And I mean, he's I, I I'm I'm reassessing. That's why they sent him off lane. He's not the hard carry. He's the initiator. They're, then, they're, they're not relying on thing. not relying on him Marana to do damage at all. Carry, and then. Marana's definitely on top of the net worth, definitely the one focusing on farm, has the Lincoln Sphere and the Yasha up, about 2,000 gold ahead of everyone else in the game. She is their hard carry, and Faceless Void with the Aghanim Scepter is the initiator, and it's working. Um, this uh, Dire Tier 1 on bot has just gone into Deny Range when the Glyph was popped, and there it is, down by Marana. So they were close enough to finish that off. Not enough defense there from, uh, from Dire to really counter that. Yeah, I, I love this Faceless Void play. I think it's amazing. Just to bounce back to where we it's were. An, it's an interesting idea because, again, they have all these big team fight stuns that need other things to make them work, and they're using um, Chrono to do that. And it's a way to use Faceless Void and get him killed so he can farm heroes during the mid game. Um, and he's not sort of useless, which a lot of people think of Faceless Void as very useless. But with this early Agony Center pickup, he mm. is initiating and winning team fights for them consistently throughout this mid game. Yeah, I mean, it does require just that first kind of 4,000 gold, um, 4,200 gold, and before that, he's going to be even more vulnerable than an, a regular Faceless Void, maybe. But um, played up in that tri lane with the attention taken off him, well, us certainly wondering what they were planning on him. Um, yeah, it was exactly the kind of game they needed for this, and I, I really and like WWE's uh, strat. His, uh, his 17 and 32 minute. Uh, uh, Aghanim Scepter, you ready for this? Ready for this? 17, this is the fastest ever Aghanim Scepter in the history of Pro Dota 2 for a Faceless Void. By not, it's not even close, by nearly a minute and a half. The wow. The fastest Aghanim Scepter in, in Pro Dota 2 history. Wow, I, I honestly feel honored to, to be here for this. <laughs> Brilliant play there, X-Mike. Unfortunately, this smoke gank is gonna, 
I've had fishing trips that were a bit like this. It's just like, hello? Do people, do people there are people in Britain? Is fishing a thing? Uh, I used to live in Africa. It's it's a thing there. But yeah, people, ah. people fish in Britain. We, we okay. have, we have rivers and such. So they're going to... I think that was a smart play there. They realized there was nobody in the jungle. And they're like, well, what should we do with this dust? Um, oh, Shadow Demon's a little bit stuck out here. Is he going to give away the game? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, well, that's... just going to push this bottom tower hard. But again, Ancient Apparition, who's still just farming up with that Hand of Midas, his ult is so good at countering pushes. One big ult will just get rid of all these creeps here. Indeed, and I think Dyer are a little bit confused here. They don't want to rush in and start right-clicking the tower because they're expecting a massive jump to come out from Radiant. Right. They assume everyone's just hiding around here, but... There's the AA ult. So that's going to make Dyer yep. even more cautious for the next few seconds. Radiant right. And there's Rush. He's down. <laughs> And everyone just TP's back in. What is Dai going to be doing now? Or they should be able to prevent it from being taken. Are we going to see? They have their glyph. They're going to pop it. There's a glyph. Just as it gets to deny range as well, 160 out of uh -huh. 1,600. So literally on the nose. And Marana secures the deny there. So brilliant play there from WWD. Perfect sense of what they can get away with. From them though. Of course, the um, all of this sort of lacking coordination that we saw in the first game is 100% now. They're on the same page. They're moving as a group. They're using their abilities really well in coordination. They're TPing in. They're denying towers that they need to be denying. This is a really great improvement. Mm, absolutely, I'm I'm loving this game. Unfortunately, the the thing that I've I've never regretted quite so much as now is that um, these games, of course, aren't played best of three. It's just two games, win or lose. This, if WWD Absolutely. win it, will get reported as a one-one. Um, but they're in the in the head I would now. Love to see a deciding match here. I would have two. That would have been amazing. Um, just seeing whether WWD can pull off another tricksy, interesting strat like well, they have the here. The game's certainly not over yet. Ember Spirit, give him a couple. Uh, although he's not going for Battle Fury, he's got Desolator and Vlad's up. Um, you know, Darkseer has good farm. Storm Spirit has very good farm. He has a Orchid is working on his own Lincoln Sphere with already Ooh. has a Perseverance up and has a point booster, so maybe gonna go. Oh! Beautiful! Sure beautiful skip out of the Chrono there. So Chrono is down for another minute. Um and not, wasted. not only that, but in addition to Dust, they actually used the Marana ult to help cover their entrance there. Um probably so basically a minute and a half that uh, the Dyer does not have to worry about farm at all. Absolutely amazing play there. Um that that was just a beautiful skip out. He know, they they know what the game is now. They know that it's a chrono that they need to look out for, and I think they're probably just looking out for it 24/7 basically. So what do you think of the uh, what do you think of the build oh, from here on the storm interior? spirit here? Possibly a little bit too far out. Marana getting caught by the uh, uh, sorry Ember spirit being caught by the Marana arrow. Disruptor ult goes down. Disruptor field goes down. I can't keep track of people. Everybody's getting uh, getting sent back four seconds. Um, Two down on each side now. Here comes the Wall of Replica, though, so Radiant are going to have to back off. I think Vacuum will be off cooldown very, very shortly. Ah, Darkseer there sitting on not enough mana. Ancient Apparition running oh, through the, the field. Right through the wall. Looks like he might get away, though. Ancient Apparition run a very low. Not being chased other than Creepy by a creep. Wants him. Creepy the creep's not going to have him. Oh! Oh, beautiful! Oh! Did you see that Marana arrow? No, I did not. Did you see that Marana arrow? It it was from. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm dropping cutlery all over the face of that. It was amazing. Um, the, I, was, I was watching Ancient Apparition from Creepy the Creep. <laughs> um, no, it, it actually missed, but it was a perfect game sense um, to try and hit Darkseer TPing out. Unfortunately, the TP was must have been 0.1 seconds. You know, one frame. Ahead of the arrow hitting him. It was, gonna go in this it was she's that close. Health. Vacuums are in. Has the iron shell on? Oh, she TP. She leaps up. But the TP not is far enough, but real. I TP's think that I had a graphics glitch there. Um, looked like the TP had been yeah, cancelled by glitch. something. Yeah, the same glitch. But yeah. Marana is safe, and a very bold push there as well from her. Um, Absolutely. Very, very bold. But with Manta and R Aquila and Lincoln Sphere up, she's she's starting to hit now. She's got um, close to 200 damage. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, uh, she's got the highest gold per minute in the game. Um, also, just what you were saying before about the Ember Spirit and the Battle Fury, I've actually, I saw an analysis of it recently, which made me appreciate not building it with Battle Fury a little bit more. First of all, it, it depends on catching a lot of people or creeps 
in the same area. Right. So you can't use right. it just as a kind of long ranged. Oh, uh, disruptor getting quiet here in another oh, chrono. The Dark Seer just can't go in there. Puck, unfortunately, wasting his ult trying to catch the Dark Seer as well, but Dark Seer was being cautious enough. The chrono. I think it was to catch the Dark Seer who was hanging around. Um, oh, I see. But he, he had backed up just, just far enough. And that, that'll be tier 2, I think. Yeah, but Amosphere is pushing this tier 2 top. Well, Radiant sitting with... On, wow, TP's all on. over the place, including two TP's on the Shadow Demon and different item slots. So I'm not sure whether he's uh, couriering, couriering them out for someone. I think Ron that would has probably gold. the case. Do they, uh, oh, There's... Just pick, straight picks up the Deso. Yeah, I was expecting play. a butterfly, but, but it is Deso. So yeah, um, Ember Spirit Battle Fury, you're depending an awful lot on, on getting groups of people, whereas if you're going for single target right. damage, you can use it as just a way to to reach further with your attack. But also it depends, I right. think, on the direction that you're facing, because of course, cleave damage isn't AoE around you, it's a cone in front of you, or a, a half circle in front of you. Right. Um, so if you, even if there's a massive group of creeps, if you hit them on the wrong side, you're not going to get that cleave damage. Um, Ember Spirit there jumping nicely away from from nothing, actually. I'm not sure what he was jumping away from. More dewarding for WWD. I will say, in both games, WWD has done a very good job. Oh, Marana oh dear. To go to work on, uh, illusions are to go work on Disruptor. Indeed. But, uh, uh, done a very good job of, of controlling wards and managing that. Indeed. Uh, uh, they've got, um, you know, speculative sentries set up on the uh, points where Dial will be looking to set up aggressive wards. Oh, Storm Spirit pulling a similar zip away trick to Ember Spirit, to what Ember Spirit did earlier. And getting nicely away. Let's have another quick, maybe, uh, uh, let's have another quick, uh, uh, grumble, grumble game sense test. So again, don't look at the graphs, but, uh, this, uh, which team do you think has the experience advantage and by how much? Do you know this one? I'm wondering whether I can use your, I do know. your, yes. your current okay. yes. tone yes. as a clue. Okay, well, from your yes, current you tone, tone, from your current tone, I think you expect okay. me to be surprised. So I'm gonna say, Given that the obvious answer, with the, uh, the kill difference and how much we've been going on about how great they are, the obvious answer, I think, is uh, WWD. I'm going to say EG. Okay. Uh, uh, that was uh, what we in the business like to call the, the classic double bluff. Oh! Uh, because it is, in fact, WD, WWD with the uh, close to 10,000 ex lead in experience. Wow. And uh, <laughs> above 7,500 lead in gold. Well, it was my uh, very, very sneaky. <laughs> I love this. The uh, the dire sentry was close enough to pick out the uh, the observer for the radiant, but not the the radiant sentry. There's been a lot of close dewarding in this game. <laughs> yes, very, very close. Marana just backdooring a tower like a boss because three desolators can do that. Deso doing work. Deso and mana. Although. Uh... Storm Spirit did just pick up his Bloodstone, so some items starting to come in from EG, but yeah. this Marana is just zooming ahead. I mean, this is I mean, this is a slight problem, I suppose, with WWD. They, if this was a strat being run against an immobile team, or just a team without any kind of obvious escapes, it, it would be much more effective. But the more mana, and, you know, dare we say it, very start. defensive ooh, ooh, ooh. Prono from Faces Void. But oh dear, he's, he's going to get caught out. out. Excellent rotations there from the Dyer, and then uh, Storm Spirit just rushing back straight in once his team were in a position to help I... out. Thank you. Easy, easy that kill. WWE needs to be roaming as a group. Their whole team is based on the fact that when they're able to proc their team fight control abilities together, they can dominate any fight. But if they split up and farm, uh, EG fear on the uh, on the Ember Spirit uh, and uh, the Standard Mason on the Storm Spirit, a Disruptor, a Crystal Maiden. They have a great ganking lineup, and if they try to split up and farm, they're gonna get picked off one by one. Ancient Apparition is already in trouble. WWD needs to be roaming as a group, and they can win these team fights. This is their time; they should be dominating. We're coming into 35 minutes. If they give Ember Spirit enough time, he's gonna farm and he's gonna catch up, and th mm. they don't need to do that. I mean, he's taking the game to EG. Already sitting on uh, Deso crits and Vlads, so I mean I think that what that basically means for him is if he saves Slight of Fist towards the end of the team fight, he'll get all of the kills, and with Vlads he'll probably heal up most of his health as well. Absolutely. Um, very very dangerous combination there. Oh, there's a Bolas. 
There's the bolus. The A ult has to get popped, but a beautiful, oh. beautiful four star season clear. Ooh, last disruptor take take him out. Oh dear. Oh dear. Out. So much that damage. damage. How ridiculous is that? Um, double damage here is going to be picked up by. I want to say. Not Darkseer? Storm, here. Assumedly. Uh, yeah, not Darkseer. Good, 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 good. Um, doesn't need to use his bottle charge. Uses it anyway. Ball in. Um, so that's a DD. Uh, storm Spirit is literally balling. That's important to keep he, in mind. He, he literally is. That's a DD Storm Spirit. If they can get this rush, um, they are going to have one crazy initiation coming up very, very shortly. And with I think. the Vlads, they shouldn't have any problem taking it down very quickly. Ember Spirit setting his remnants up, ready to leap out should the need arise. Don't think the need is going to arise. They um, were very careful. They dewarded there before. That's what that uh, that's what that junk before Ag was. Except you're up in darks here. How many? Right, so a little bit more chat trivia while we have a second. So we uh, we asked earlier about faceless void uh, pick rate, which uh, was not terribly high. So no. uh, our, the second question, more of course from Lua, our great stats man. Um, of the heroes in this game right now, mm -hmm. who is the most played hero in this season's Joan Do Mendota League? Again, played or picked or banned? Uh, played. Marana. Throwing it out there without Marana, too much thought. Okay. Then if I'm wrong, eh, okay. well. I'm going to say... Oh, nice ancient stacking going Puck. on here. But I think it was Marana or Puck. Very good guess. It was Marana or Puck. Ember Spirit going to amplify his farm here with ancient Spirit, stacks. Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say Storm Spirit to make it interesting, because I think Marana and Puck are the safe guesses. I'll say Storm Spirit. Okay, okay. Let's see what we, uh... But, uh <clears throat> see how it comes back. Ancient Apparition all gonna come in. Just hit Darks here. Keep in mind that it's there. Let's see now. He, he had the Midas. He's gotten four staff. And an ultimate orb. What What's that ultimate orb gonna be built in? Probably a size of Vice. That, um, that would be very, very useful against this team. High, high mobility. But you know what? I still am... Pigs don't ball. Right. That's that's a problem. Pigs ain't balling. I'm still not. Uh, I'm not feeling uh, WWD strategy here. They're they're being too passive, and they're giving EG time to. They got that roast. They're giving them time to farm. They have such a good team fight, but that's gonna fall down to the physical damage if they give them enough time. I mean, mm -hmm. they have great physical damage dealers, and they're they're dealing more physical damage. But they have the advantage now. They should really be pressing it. I hope yeah. it doesn't come back to bite them. Well, it's, a, it's the same thing we were saying EG were doing last game. You know, when you get the lead, if if you then turn it into a game of everybody sit back and farm, your lead is just getting less and less significant, even right. if it stays the same. Um, but and... Storm Spirit is a very fast farmer, and Faces Void, he, he didn't pick up a Battle Fury. He does pick up his Butterfly now, but no Mjolnir, no no classic farming items. So, well, you talk I'm about, sure this. about this as. You talk okay. about the Storm Spirit, I just saw Ember Spirit go through a, a triple stack of Ancients in about 30 seconds with minimal help from Crystal Absolutely. Maiden. Absolutely. Um, and he, now he has his Daedalus. They're ready to fight. Yeah, I mean, that's... I I'm think not that... Sure that I'm not sure Having a look, the they're pulling here. it back gold-wise. I mean, very, very, very small, but the trend is set. Oh, Absolutely. just a smoke into, smoke into Roche. Roche isn't up. Not even close. Yeah, they still have Radiant, Aegis. though. I assume. Yeah, on Storm. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, maybe they thought someone was maybe just picking something up from the secret shop from inside the rush bit. Oh, I see. Gonna be in. All right, we should see them come in. Interesting. They've been revealed. But they not have sure been who. revealed. Who did reveal them? Radiant being very cagey here. Did it just wear off, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I think the smoke must have just run out. I think they thought it was revealed, which is why they sort of backed up <laughs> for a second. Ember Spirit doing All a nice right, job. Just. Answer. I All right. Answer. Let's hear it. Is... Da -da -da -da. Well played, yeah. Gobble. I took the easy yeah, answer. That's two trivia wins <laughs> from Gobble. Well, you got the other half of the other one. Oh, that's true. You got the other half Marana of the other one. has 64% picker ban rate in Dota 2. Okay, so it was picker bans. Alright, well, maybe it is Marana then. But still, 64% picker ban rate in Huge. this first season of JDL. That's, that's very high. Huge. Well, she's she's big in the meta, as it were. She is. She's that old. That's well, very, very well respected. I love the way this haste rune has just been sitting here for, for just ages. Nobody cares. Puck finally picked it up, probably just to clear space. <laughs> Puck with a level two Dagon, Blink Dagger, and Yule Scepter. That's you. Uh, 
he's starting to become an actual damage dealer. That's get a pause from WWD. That is a deadly, WDD. deadly puck. Oh, a pause and a disconnect. So, picked up an eagle song. Picked up an eagle song, Marana. On the on the Marana, yeah. So, uh, well, I said she's gonna go for that butterfly. I said I I thought she would go that before or just skip the death. So, considering how how much farm she had, but she has the eagle song and she has six hundred gold more than she needs to finish the butterfly. Yeah, she'll she'll get a couple, maybe a thousand more. Um, I would guess to make sure she gets buyback before she finishes it off. Um, she'll need a little bit but, more than that, uh, I think. But yeah, 1,000, 1,500. Yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe 1,500 to go, but... I mean, she's level 22, so... She's very, very farmed. <laughs> Can't um, well be ahead pausing. of everyone else in the game. She has about a 7,000 net worth lead, but... I mean, fear on this Amber Spirit is starting to become a real threat. He's got the crit up. Got the Desolator and Vlad's. Not saying that they're they're in a better position. I mean, they're definitely still behind in gold. <clears> about 7,500. Darn to sort of bring it back a little bit, but those graphs are ticking the wrong way, and I'm I'm worried that uh, WWD may have may have missed its window of opportunity to really take over this game. I think they could have taken racks by now if they had pushed in, but mm. I mean I think both I mean they, both teams have the potential to win the team fight when it happens. It's absolutely. It's gonna be, but yeah, I think I you're think right. A w lot of is going to come down to the storm and that orchid malevolence. Um, that's a really big item in these fights. Mm. Who he chooses to silence and when he chooses to silence them, it's going to have a really big effect on uh, on on how it goes down. I mean, mm. I guess the way I would say it is, if the team fight begins with with a WWD initiation, if they sort of, you know, they, they smoke and roll out his five or whatever, um, and are able to just take them on, I, I definitely give them the edge. But, if they do, I think some of what we saw last game, if we see um, EG get a good uh, pickoff, um, and uh, you know, WWD try to sort of come in one by one to defend it. Um, they they could very easily get wiped back out of the way. So next team fight is going to be very decisive. Very very true, very true. I'm I'm hoping that um, the WWD WWD I keep wanting to say Wild <laughs> Wild West. I keep wanting to say Wild Wild West. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, I'm hoping are, they're not going to do the Wild Witch Doctors. They're, they're Wild Witch Doctors. I'm hoping we're not going to see the one one by one TP agents and pick off, and I don't think we are because their their kind of flow is much much better this game. Mm. Just having a look, this much better this game, I agree. We've got a lot of boots of speed still in the game, um, which I find quite interesting. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, two, so not a lot. But ancient apparition and Darkseer are still both with boots, and I'm wondering. So ancient apparition got Midas, just and it's just not interested in arcanes. Midas, Ags, four staff, ultimate orb. Nah, boots. I mean, arcane's pretty farmed for Wizard's <laughs> Beam. Arcane's, I think, irrelevant at this stage. I would want to say um, he's got the mana regen, really, from the stuff he's got. Arcane's are, are a little bit early, but Who I mean, second boots of speed on. Uh, Darkseer, who is also Darkseer sitting on here with the boots of speed. Ags, Mech, Blink Dagger, Full Wand, and the TP. Um, I'm just wondering whether we're just going to see some, I don't know, boots of travel or something picked up on some of these guys soon? Even I'm if sure just for the movement speed. Eventually. Uh, now might be the time. I don't know, not necessarily to That's... split push, but also just to be able to make sure you're in the next team fight when it kicks off, because we're getting close to the big one. I, the storm is brewing, winter is coming, you know, whatever you want to call it. one by one <laughs> if you don't have boots of travel. That's just, you know, basic logic. Hmm. But yeah, uh, we're we're getting all the tier three items rocking out now. It's this is getting to destructive Dota levels, real destructive Dota. This next team fight is gonna be is gonna be big. If it ends up being absolutely tiny, we're gonna be we're gonna be well embarrassed after all of this. But what else are we supposed to do during a pause? We've got to hype up the game. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be massive. It's gonna be the biggest thing you've ever seen. Um. Yes. Shadow Demon, by the way, um, uh, did go for Arcanes, but only has a four staff to his name. Uh, Crystal Bacon has a four staff and the gym and Tranquils. So, mm -hmm. with only with less than a thousand gold, she's got a much better item set, uh, really, than I would say Darkseer does. She's certainly got a very useful item set, but I mean, 
you know, Darkseid is going, he's got the heals, he's got the blink dagger, he's got the eggs. I think for the purpose that they're playing, he's got... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to say everything. Shadow Demon. I was comparing Shadow Demon and Crystal Maiden. Shadow Demon and Crystal Maiden. Excuse me. Okay, let's have a quick look, Steve. I was going to say, because that, that looks to me fairly, fairly decisive, double the net worth kind of thing. Um, Great moments in David casting right there. <laughs> I was like, is he? Is he sure? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, Crystal Maiden's got that gem as well, so that's that's going to be incredibly useful. On she may team. not have purchased it for herself. No, she's sure. designated carrier of the gem. Um, oh, and I also said I'd always give a shout out to people or to teams who had the top and bottom slot on things like Network or Last Hits, just because it shows that the supports are doing their job and the carries are doing their job. And that is WWD mm -hmm. this match. Marana they at 22, very... 22k net worth, Disruptor at 4k net worth, so. Even though he's level twelve, very good distribution of their farm. Mm. The reason, very well done. The the side effect of him being level twelve is Marana is level twenty two. I want to say twenty two, oh. almost twenty three. Um, which is by far ha, ha, the the highest in and the game. And they did lane together. That they did. Yeah. Well, I guess while we have this um this long pause, I, I guess you know it wouldn't hurt to uh, maybe give a a couple shout outs. Uh, no, to those not that I know are going to be watching us and are really <laughs> interested. Um, I definitely want to give a shout out to uh, to all the wave members that are watching Kick and Trees and Lua and uh, Scooter, Buttermilk, Umark, uh, everyone else who's watching. Thanks so much for all of your support and helping us get to this position. Uh, we're really happy to be here. Um, ah, and, so uh, happy, all the guys, who, who you've who've been uh, who've been playing with a little bit recently. Uh, uh, great to have you guys involved, and we hope to keep playing with you guys and have you involved. Uh, BB Crisis, shout out to BB Crisis. Um, I believe in yourself, I believe in you. <laughs> so. And shout out to all the Right E guys as well, the old Right E crew. We're we're keeping it real. Uh, thanks for the tips on the Steams, all the all the help getting that set up. We've had a long, long technical technical phases trying to trying to get this all set up. But look, we're here. It's EG. Wow. Um. And of course, yeah, the admins of the JDL as well. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the first game, um, Cryonix and Monkus, the admins who have been helping me and running this particular lobby, they're doing an amazing <laughs> job. I love what JDL are doing. Sorry, I was just giggling at some of the <laughs> alt chat here. The uh, WWD is having some problems with their Skype call. And he just says, oh, just use in game chat. And then, uh, what's Peter your profanity? Says, yeah, you know. Brown doesn't even talk, you know. It's not even a thing, and Stan is like, "Yeah, it's true. I don't, I don't talk." <laughs> in game, it's is apparently double just, shout out to Umar. Just by the profanity. Way. Double shout Umar out to Umar. Plays twenty four seven. Mug. Main playmaker. Main playmaker twenty seventeen. Scooter, shout out to Scooter. Gi nine, world champion. Um, we made it, guys. <laughs> we did it. We can just pack up and go home. Yeah, we're done. We just won Dota. <laughs> so, Zizan, I assume, is one of the other commentators. Um, but yeah, we're ready now. I assume. Alright, here we go. <laughs> wait. Sorry, sorry, G. Oh, if wait. If only I was here. Wait, AFK. You know, maybe, oh. I should have, uh, maybe I should have thrown out some of my uh, my fun facts just to keep everybody oh, you know, God. sort of in line as we, uh, I've as, never we seen, as we had this pause. I've never seen you finish one of those. It's always like, what <laughs> happens? <laughs> When? Oh, it doesn't matter how long the pause is, you never finish your fun facts. I finish them sometimes. I suppose that's why they're fun. I had to finish them for you last time. Yeah, you didn't finish them very well. Hey, they were fun facts. I mean, okay, they weren't facts. They were fun, okay, that's true. <laughs> alright, alright, shout out to Ninja Fox. Ninja Fox my man. Ninja Fox my man. Uh, all the BB guys, all the BB guys. Yapplejack, Ninja Fox. Crisis. Everybody. Everybody. Right, we're back into it. We are back into it. All I'm gonna um, say, last thing is, did you know cats? That's all I'm gonna say. Did you know cats? Hold more static electricity as a species than the sun. I mean, that's a fun not Storm fact. Storm zipping in here on the ancient apparition. Oh, Marano the Marana ult's popped. Did the queen have to let him survive? Oh, nope. Shadow nope, demon it too is much. not. Ooh, an ember spirit says... Bad Shadow Demon. Bad. <laughs> Are Radiant going to be able to defend against this? A very... Tower is under I wasn't expecting sudden right, plays to misses. be made, but this... 
Especially with the Marana arrow missing, this could be very, very significant. This is a problem. They really void. That ancient apparition ult. Yeah, the Void afraid to go in. Um, I mean, they do have... I think should be, really. They do have Puck, but they need the AA for, you know, for the damage that can be shot from far yeah, away. He's so core here. And Marana just keeps missing arrows. I mean, not having a go. The, the Dyer are dodging them beautifully, but they need a hit on one of those. Now Faceless Void getting faceless. Uh, getting shackled. Oh, and Jay didn't. Will he get Chrono off? The silence prevents the uh, Chrono from getting off, but yep, there's the AA ult. Storm Spirit's the only one to go down though, and he Buy has ages. Using his ult beautifully there to avoid right clicks from Marana. And now they are just using their mobility to just pounce on the Radiant whenever they peek out of their fountain. Buybacks from Marana. Still no Radiant heroes down here. This is looking really, really bad. Sorry, no Dire heroes down. This is looking really, really bad for WWD. That's the racks and a lot of gold gone. And a lot of buyback timers ticking right now. Of course, they can't go for another X because Tier 2 is up in both lanes. I don't think they were expecting to have that opportunity. Um... Otherwise, they would have made a bit more of an effort to clear out these towers. But after getting those two pickoffs in the jungle straight off the pause, or, uh, yep. or by the tier threes rather, yeah, just absolutely go for it. Marana again misses an arrow. I thought she'd get that one. And that's basically Marana's gold lead just evaporated throughout that fight. Let's have a look now. Graph, Half just, back. Just a straight plummet down. Half back, and now the the momentum at least fully in favor of the uh, of the Dyer. Although they are, I mean, they are technically still behind in gold and still behind in XP. Um, oh, they are. If they can win the next team fight, then they're, they're, you know they're definitely more than in it. But I think it really goes back to what I was saying before about letting them farm when they just didn't need to. Mm. Let Storm Spirit, Ember pick up, Ember Spirit pick up some very key items. Because Ember Spirit looks to be building probably into an MKB picked up just mm. a javelin. That's very true, and I mean, I think the only really core essential team fight items that the Okay, the, the Vice will be useful when it comes out on AA, but that isn't there yet. The only other kind of core essential items that they, the Radiant have really been getting are kind of the DPS on the Marana. Um, you know, they got their eggs out, they Which got great. the combo out. It's amazing, but it's not enough. I mean, if you've been seeing the damage she's been doing, even with her Manta to the Storm Spirit, it's well, the only sure if they outnumbered him, they, then they'd get a kill, but they're not going to be able to get a kill on either of the Spirits. It's um, it's only single as target is. damage on a team with so much escape and mobility. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, but wonderful team Chrono team getting team off here. They're gonna go for the AA. Ember uh, sorry, the Ember Spirit. AA unfortunately walks into the Chrono. Beautiful vacuum straight into a wall there. Lots of illusions being popped out. Radiant, I think, spending a little bit too much time running backwards and forwards. Shadow Demon and Void are down. AA is gonna get the TP. So no other, no other deaths there for the for the Radiant. But again, did force buybacks, but down two now. This is bad. I mean, if Marana does uh, does die in this next fight, then she's not going to have buyback. Um, I, I think Faceless might need to buyback in order to defend this next set of racks, if that's what they're going to do. He doesn't have buyback. He can't. Oh, dear. Shadow Demon? Well, Shadow Demon will be up. I, I, why am I suddenly up there? Um, I don't see how they can defend this racks without Faceless. They need all five heroes. I don't. Look at that work. tower melt. Arrow coming in. Again with the miss. They, She hasn't hit one of the last five, I think. Something like that. Ember Spirit is all finishing off the puck. He must have had a buyback because 90 seconds. Um, AA ult being popped. That's actually going to miss everybody except for, for Ember Spirit. Disruptor using his field really to just keep the Radiant back. Doing a lot of damage. Well, he can afford to. I mean, he, are you seeing the tankiness there on that Storm Spirit? After saying that neither Absolutely. team really had a tank. Um, I mean, the, the Dyer, I think they're waiting for the GG call, really. Um, but their next move, they're just, yep, going to rotate straight up the top, get that. And then uh, with the hit kills they got pushing down the mid, they're going to be able to push down the top as well. This is, this is definitely WWD's last stance here. I mean, what are the options for them now? It's finally equal on kills. Um, so they know they're not in a good position. If they landed a perfect chrono plus AA plus everything else, would they even get the kills? Oh dear, Faces Void unfortunately getting orchided, so not even going to be able to... And Marana's down. There it goes. Unfortunately, not enough damage. I think... 
I think that was a uh, a bit of a fun play there from him. He knew it wasn't going to work as soon as Akrono went up. But yeah, mm, a couple of amazing matches here. Very good match. That's that's kind of a shame. If WWD had pushed its advantage, it could have been a big upset from them. Absolutely. Uh, they should have they sh they should have taken the game when they could. Absolutely. I mean, but, I... but very well played by both teams. Great comeback from EG. Loads of respect really there for that. Great play from Fear and and the stand in Mason doing a lot of work that game. Yeah, and and massive respect for that. Um, you know, faces void with Ags plus AA combo while Marana goes and finds a safe way. I think they maybe could have done with a better a better heavy carry. You know, all love to Marana, but if they had mm. more a uh, area of effect damage there, even I'm just trying to spit with you, even a Kunker boat to throw we in after after the uh, yeah, but. He's not my ideal heavy carry, but just something like that, just to throw in a little bit more. But, um, maybe a quick note, by the way, before we end the cast. Um, uh, I noticed something earlier, and Lua just reminded me of it. Uh, Courier, the uh, the the EG courier. Um, I guess we can't look at it now, but I clicked on it earlier. Uh, maybe the best courier name of all time. Uh, oh, EG courier I missed that. Name is um, I Bottle Crow for RTZ. So I'm gonna buy a ah. courier and name it that like tonight. <laughs> Well, it's got to be for David, right? I'm still naming my courier. It's got to be for David. No, 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 no. no. It's, respect courier name. Totally respect courier <laughs> name. Good job. Good job. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll end the cast there. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. Um, I will be looking over Sounds any technical great. issues and trying to just fix them up for the future. And there will be more matches like this coming up. There's a whole tournament um, with a whole bunch Yay. of exciting teams. Um, there's Fnatic, there's Rockskiss. Um, who else is alliance in this one anyway there will be more coming in future in future weeks and future days so stay tuned especially sunday all right cheers guys say yep. goodbye davidy goodbye davidy there we go that pun and a goodbye from me ciao guys